Greetings, gents and ladies. I have a theory as to why Ubisoft Upper Management is abolishing work from home. Now, before we get into my theory, let's look at the details. The facts, as they were. So, Ubisoft Upper Management has abolished work from home. The employees are understandably unhappy with this, so they are striking. They will strike for three days. If their demands are not met, they may strike for longer. We'll have to see if it's more than just a show of force, a ha-ha, look what we can do. So, what are the pragmatic reasons why Ubisoft Software Management would abolish work from home? Well, they have this commercial real estate that costs a lot of money to own or rent and operate. If you don't have employees working there, you don't have a justification for spending that money. These older generation managers, they view office space as a status symbol. You have a big office, you know your business has made it. If you look at IGN's coverage of the layoffs, you see a lot of the companies in the gaming industry who laid off employees bought these huge office spaces that they did not need. And this was ultimately a detriment to their bottom line. For some reason, these people are obsessed with owning these big offices, even though they are not conducive to productivity. And then you have the other less obvious answer where you don't really need that many mill managers if everyone is working from home because realistically software can take the role of middle managers allowing people in lead positions to direct the people underneath them all you really have to do is set up a competent chain of command and you can eliminate a lot of middle managers so the middle managers are very interested in making sure office spaces return then you have my personal theory one thing about work from home that a lot of people don't consider is it tracks your metrics. The company knows whether you're getting tasks done, how much work you're able to accomplish in the time frame you're, you're working, and overall just how productive you are. They have metrics measured by the software, or at the very least, they can look at, okay, we gave employee X task, they were able to complete X task and X time. What you learn about DEI hires, and Endymion has covered this, and before Endymion, you had developers who were willing to, well, risk their jobs, come out and they said the same thing, like this developer in Synthetic Man's comment section, where he lays out how two-thirds of the company are straight free riders, while only one-third of developers are competent. When you have investors wanting to lay off a bunch of people, the people you're going to have to lay off based on metrics are the DEI hires. If they're not doing their job, if they're not capable of doing their job, they're the ones that have to go. Otherwise, you will have employees who are capable, who are meeting their metrics, go to the labor board, go to file lawsuits for wrongful termination. And they have a really good argument about that. On top of that, Companies can't force the one-third of the competent people or whatever's left at the Ubisoft to do the work of the other two-thirds. So Ubisoft, to keep doing DEI, would be highly motivated to get rid of work from home. Because you have to remember, corporations are not profit-making endeavors. They are vassal states to whoever owns or manages them. The ideal that these are greedy, soulless entities, well, they are soulless, <laughs> but all they care about is profit, is a misnomer. Human beings do not magically become machine-like, perfect AIs, capable of only achieving their desired task, just because you put them inside of a corporation. They don't become perfect when you put them in charge of a state. Either way, there's a bunch of reasons why Ubisoft would want to abolish work from home, and I deeply suspect that as investors are breathing down their legs to lay off a ton of employees, they don't want those ugly little metrics showing that their DEI hires are not doing their job. And that's all I have to say about that. Hit the like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next video. We are very close to a thousand, which means I can get my shekels! Yay! No, 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 wait. I'm a gamer.